So you want to know how you can change your future because the future doesn't exist. And you want to know how you can change your past because the past doesn't actually exist. Think about quantum theory. The past is only being experienced through the way you're observing it in the now, in the present moment. Where does the past exist? You can't go back to it. You're only in the moment that you're in. And the way you remember the past is how you're experiencing it. Quantum physics says that the past doesn't exist. The future doesn't exist. All that exists is the present moment. And when we are observing something in the moment, the way we observe it actually predicts its outcome of how you're experiencing it. So think about this with inner child work. You have memories that come up from the past. Your childhood memories are traumatic and you remember them. And then once you remember them, you become aware of them and you actually realize they're traumatic and they're living in your body and they're creating a stress response in the present moment because you're not really living in the present, right? You're living in the past. Where does the past exist? In your mind, right? In your brain, in your body, whatever. If you think about it like that, that means that you can actually change the past because once you observe it and you become aware of how you've actually been observing it, then you can release the emotional charge around it and then you're free to actually observe it differently. You can change what happened literally and in your brain and in your body doesn't know the difference. And this predicts your future, which doesn't exist because that you're choosing to have the experience you wanted to have. Your present moment will be the experience and that creates the future. But the truth is there's no past and future. There's only one ongoing present moment. Does that blow your mind?